Rightio, let's have a look at our next class, and that's a veteran, expert, and clubman. Veterans meaning anyone over the age of 35 years of age. Now, they split it up into two classes, expert and clubman. Um, clubman obviously being the guys that are uh, just getting into the sport and are a little bit more inexperienced, and the expert are the guys that have uh, probably been racing for quite a long time, come out of A grade, and uh, getting into the veterans class. Some of them trophy hunters, I might say. <laughs> Now the veterans put on a great display all weekend, they did. Really do love getting out there and riding, they do. A lot of these guys have family, might have sons or daughters that are racing, so they hop on a bike and have a bit of a rough putt around as well. And some of them take it quite seriously as well. They forget about their age, and uh, as soon as you get onto that gate, I think it's white line fever for most of them. Everything shuts off and the racing instinct comes into play. We see the two guys that really put on a show over the weekend, that was number V99, that's James Graham. Now, he's a local, he's from Mafra Sale, so he had the local track knowledge, that's for sure. But chasing him was Triple One, Yareev Konsky. Now, Yareev's been around for a while, good friend of myself, and uh, somebody that I must say uh, has a lot on his plate, does a lot, of, uh, a lot of good work for the sport, but not only does he do a lot of work for the sport, he also gets out there and races as well. Just shows that he certainly loves motocross. Now these two fought tooth and nail all weekend. A lot of it very nice clean racing and the guys really put on a great show for the spectators out there at Mafra Sail Club. Now just because they're over 35 doesn't mean they're all wrinkled up and forgotten. A lot of these guys really love to get out for the weekend and have a bit of a fun. You might see number 332 there, that's Stephen Weatherstone now. The story behind Stephen, a lot of people mightn't realise, but uh, not only does Stephen ride in the Vets Club, but he also has a son that races, Josh, who's in C grade, who was just on before. Stephen's also the manager of Peter Stevens Motorcycles. Now, if it wasn't for Stephen, I don't think we'd have a lot of this racing action and the professionalism of this sport, and certainly not this TV show. So, Stephen really getting behind the sport of motocross in Victoria. And not only, again, does he support the sport, but he gets out there and races it as well. And giving it a red hot go, as you can see. Stephen's been involved with the sport for quite some years. And he's a true believer of the sport being a great family sport. As I said, he's got his son who's racing and has just got out of the juniors now and into the seniors. So he's been racing for quite a few years as well. Number 31 there going through, that's Mark King. Now Mark's been in the sport for quite a long time as well. A youngster that raced when he was a junior, got out of the sport and then got back into it where you find a lot of these vets. May have raced when they were juniors and uh, decided, look, they've got a family, they're all set up and they might get back into doing a little bit of riding. The four strokes make it a bit easier on your body to ride, although uh, try and tell the vets after 10 minutes and one lap, <laughs> they'll, uh, they'll tell you something different but certainly the four strokes make it a bit easier for the guys out there to ride. So if there's anyone that's watching out there that thinks that they might be able to get out and mix it up with these guys, go out and get yourself a four stroke and uh, give it a go because it is good fun and a lot of these guys do just go out there for the fun of it. You see Mark on the gas through there. Another jump by Stephen Weatherstone coming through. Now, I did have a chat to Steve during the day and he was telling me by about the four minute mark he was spent. So that was about two laps in. So <laughs> a lot of these guys, as you would imagine, the vets full time working through the week and then come to the end of the week, they go racing. So a lot of them don't get a training regime in as you would expect. Okay, let's go to the leaderboard. Well done guys, good racing. <laughs> 